Hello there. As the Republic and Jedi Order fell, and the Empire arose from the ashes, Palpatine knew that some Jedi had inevitably survived the Purge, so to deal with the threat, he created the Inquisitors to hunt down the Jedi. But in a previous video, I already talked about all the Inquisitors that served the Empire in canon. So in today's video, I will be talking about the Inquisitors again, but this time, talking about how they're not as strong as you think. And in fact, most of them just had the training of a Padawan due to most of them being Jedi at the time of the Purge. In today's video, I will be talking about why the Inquisitors were not as strong as you think and how they were actually able to kill the Jedi. Well, throughout the galaxy, the Inquisitors were highly feared among the Jedi and citizens alike due to the reputation of them being ruthless and murderous. It is quite obvious that the Inquisitors' training in the Force, as well in lightsaber combat, was incomplete, to say the least. And this was mostly due to Darth Vader not training them completely. So, before we get into the Inquisitors, we should probably talk about Darth Vader, their leader besides the Grand Inquisitor. It was Darth Vader's job to train the Inquisitors on how to fight Jedi survivors. This is where their first problem would arise. The problem being that Darth Vader, while being a fully fledged Sith Lord, he was not a good teacher in the dark side. Due to him not being like his master, Darth Sidious, who's extremely educated in the Sith lore. But that was not all that much of a problem to Darth Vader. Due to him being naturally gifted in the dark side, his experience, and his role as a chosen one. He found that most of the techniques that the Sith used were pretty much useless to him. But just because he was one of the strongest Sith Lords ever, does not mean he was the most capable of teaching his abilities. He was powerful due to him having an immense connection to the dark side of the Force, something that is not often taught. Due to the Inquisitors all being former Jedi, this meant they were weak in the dark side of the Force, as I have mentioned, and Darth Vader noticed this when he started training them. His goal when training them was completely cut them off from using a defensive form and force them to only use attacking. And in an attempt to make them stronger in the dark side of the force, train them in loss. The same loss that powered Darth Vader, that enraged Darth Vader. He would do this by removing their limbs, such as the sixth brother's arm, the ninth sister's left eye, and the fifth brother's hand. He would practically force them to use the dark side by removing their limbs one by one, though this would only partially work, due to not all of the Inquisitors turning on their own will. Another reason they were weak is due to the fact that their lightsaber skills were not finished, due to most of them being a Padawan at the time of Order 66. So, in order to make up for their lack of experience, they were provided with double-sided spinning lightsabers. The spinning lightsabers were easy to use, very intimidating, and extremely useful. Oh, and don't forget, their most unique ability of all, they could fly with them. But if they were so weak, how were they so successful in killing the Jedi? You must understand that most of the very powerful Jedi such as Yoda, Obi-Wan, and Opa Rancisis were never found by the Inquisitors. In fact, were never seen again other than Obi-Wan. And the other jet powerful Jedi were killed in the original Order 66 by their clone soldiers. It was after that the Inquisitors came into play that most of the powerful Jedi have died. This meant that the Inquisitors only had to deal with, most likely, Jedi Knights and most of the time Jedi Padawans, due to their masters dying to protect them. There's also multiple stages that the Inquisitor had to take to hunt down a Jedi survivor. And most of the time, an Inquisitor would hunt in groups, with the minimal amount of Inquisitors hunting a single Jedi being two. Because if a Jedi Knight or Padawan was too difficult for a single Inquisitor, the second one could step in and finish the job. Only the most powerful Inquisitors were ever seen hunting a Jedi alone, such as the Grand Inquisitor and the Second Sister. Also, if the Jedi proved to be too powerful for both of the Inquisitors, they would not hesitate to call in backup to assist them. And if the threat was great enough, they would even go as far as contacting Darth Vader to assist them. But as bad as a teacher Darth Vader was, he did train the Inquisitors to serve their purpose. Because at the time of A New Hope, the Jedi threat has practically disappeared. All that was left of the Jedi are a couple of relics and maybe a few Jedi Padawans. And in fact, it was always the plan to not train the Inquisitor to the full potential due to Darth Sidious not wanting one of the Inquisitors to take Darth Vader's place. Due to this, the Inquisitors were never anything more than assets that are expendable. I guess it goes without saying that the Inquisitors were certainly an interesting topic to discuss. But anyway, that basically covers everything I wanted to talk about in this video regarding the Inquisitors and Darth Vader. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if there's any other videos you want me to cover, make sure to leave, tell me in the comments below. And also tell me who your favorite Inquisitor is. And with that, my fellow Star Wars nerds, may the Force be with you.